Hey there, welcome back. As always, appreciate you guys joining me on another interesting video. And this, I have to say, is a great moment because I have been trying to acquire an all original Atom Jet for years and years and years. And as you know how it goes in the collecting realm, sometimes through timing or luck, you can get that one special piece you like. And a lot of times the timing is off, the finances are off. So it just never syncs up where you can acquire that one special piece. However, this is a special piece. Um, a little bit about the Atom Jet, as you probably know, a lot of times it's uh, missing that top fin that says Atom Jet. They do make replacements now, but it's always nice to get an original that's all complete. And this one is in fact original. The little bullet, uh, bullet jet <laughs> exhaust tips are original. The little bullet things in the front is also original. That's, the scale of this is absolutely massive. <laughs> I'm going to show you, you know, uh, I have actually here an Atom motorcycle. And you, you, this is a big motorcycle. And you can see now this is in front of the camera if I were to get closer. You have an idea, just the insane size of the Atom Jet. I mean, it's absolutely uh, gargantuan. And um, let's uh, let's take let's take a look around this thing if I can get in there. Um, this is just absolutely huge. Here's the front, the grill. This is actually the tag from Bertoya's. Let's see what's on the back here. You can see that that jet exhaust style I was talking about. These, um, I call them like bullet exhaust feature, but I mean, whatever you call it, these are original. This is the, the tin fin. I believe this is Y Company. You can see underneath here. You can see here. It's actually lithograph Atom Jet. I don't know if you've been able to see. <laughs> I feel like this is so difficult to, to get on frame here. Let me see if I can go back. I actually dropped the hubcap out of this thing, showing you. And it's heavy too. So there's the Y logo right there. These are the hubcaps. Now, as I said, as I turned it to the side, a hubcap came off. Hopefully, I can put it back. Yes, it fit right back. Let's look at the pilot and the cockpit. <laughs> There's the loose hubcap I was telling you about. It reminds me when I used to drive cars with, with hubcaps, right? And sometimes they would pop off and go flying. But luckily it fits right in, nicey nice. Ah, let's get this back over here. Anyway, uh, there's not much else I can tell you about this Atom Jet. It's really an iconic piece. I think a lot of collectors really like to have this. You, you require a lot of room. The reason that I left all the packing material out is because I am gonna repack this like everything else <laughs> until the big day where I can actually stage this. So in the meantime, at least I wanted to show you. I'll flip it around the other side. I'll do it this way too. So it's a little more stable. Shoot all the angles. I'm getting my workout picking this thing up. I couldn't even really <laughs> roll this thing. It's so big that if I roll it, it's, I have no no room without it hitting something. Let's see, get this back there. There's the dreaded loose hubcap, but at least it has all four hubcaps. Look at that. Get this back on. I can always glue it, I suppose, but you know what? The fact that it's there, I'm happy <laughs> just for that. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for watching. I, and again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. 
Hit the like button if you haven't already, you know, that little thumb and the little bell that's off to the side. If you click that, you will be notified of all new videos. So anyway, thanks again for joining me on this sort of unveiling of the beautiful, rare, highly desirable, all tin Yonezawa Atom Jet car. Uh, I think it's 28 inches or something like that. It's just absolutely massive and stunning. Stunning and brave, as I like to say. Thanks again, and I will talk to you later.